everyone, it's Laura. So today I'm going to be sharing an introduction with my Clue Project Pan. So this is a Fantastic Ladies collab project and it was created by Stephanie L. This project is modeled after the board game Clue. And I believe how it's played is that you choose three prompts from each category. The categories are suspects, weapons, and rooms. You roll a pair of dice in order to figure out how many times you need to use each prompt. At each update, whatever you've met your goal on, you can use in your guess. And you need one, at least one from each category to make a guess. And I think if you meet your goals on all nine, then you can have at most three guesses. I believe that's how that works. Anyway, so I'm going to be turning the camera around and showing you the prompts I picked and then rolling these dice to see how many times I'm going to be using them. Okay, so for the suspects, I'm choosing to start with Mrs. Peacock, Professor Plum, and Mrs. White. So the prompt for Mrs. Peacock is blue, something blue or with blue packaging. So I'm choosing this hair gel from the brand Depth Sport. So let me roll these dice and see how many times I need to use the hair gel. Five times. So for Professor Plum, the prompt is something purple or, or with purple packaging. I'm choosing this Clinique face wash. So let me roll to see. Seven. For Mrs. White, the prompt is something white or with white packaging. So I'm choosing this CeraVe face lotion. Three. So the next category is weapons. So for weapons, I'm choosing the revolver, the wrench, and the lead pipe. So the prompt for the revolver is a spray, and I'm choosing this rose water spray from Heritage Store. Twelve times. So the prompt for wrench is a product you use to fix mishaps. For me, that's definitely concealer. <laughs> if I go a little crazy with eyeliner or something, I always use concealer to help fix it. So I'm putting in this Too Faced concealer, the peach one. Three. The prompt for lead pipe is a pencil. I'm putting in this Sephora lip pencil in the shade Lovely Lilac. Seven. And the three prompts I picked from the category of rooms, I picked hall, kitchen, and library. The prompt for hall is a base product. So I'm choosing this e.l.f. Camo CC Cream Foundation. Five. For the prompt of kitchen, it is a baked product or a product that could be used for baking. I chose this Laura Geller Baked face powder. This is in the Universal Filter Finish Baked Radiant, Radiant Setting Powder. Four. And my last prompt, library. The, the prompt for that is a palette. So I'm putting in this Wet n Wild palette. This is in the Petalette shade. It's a kind of like purpley pink color. Six. 
Okay, so there are all my prompts. Um, I don't foresee having trouble meeting my goals on these, so hopefully my first update I will be able to make three guesses, but we'll see. I do have quite a few projects going on, so I don't know. I'm really excited about this project. Clue is very nostalgic to me. Now technically I don't think I ever owned the actual board game, but back when our family computer, like when I was a kid, we started going from using floppy disks to those like CD-ROM disks. Um, I, we have a few games for the computer. One of them was Clue, and one of them was Where in the World is Carmen San Diego. I loved those games, so I'm so excited about this. Anyway, that's everything. I'll see you next time. Bye!